Hello everyone, good morning. Welcome to my floor again. I promise this is not gonna be the thing that I do every time I start a vlog, but I just got a package in the mail and I wanted to share it with you guys. I have been waiting for this for a very long time and I thought that I would do kind of a full review of it as I'm unboxing, which I cannot wait to open. <laughs> you heard that. <laughs> I wish I could show you what he's doing. Um, Mickey is chasing his tail. Uh, he's really distracting me. But my parents just left. They were here Friday through Tuesday. Um, and yeah, we had so much fun having them here and I'm trying to get everything back in order now. Um, I've been doing laundry, cleaning up and everything, but we had such an amazing time. They just happened to be here the same time that my cousin, her husband, and her two girls were coming to Disney World. So it was kind of neat because we were able to meet up with them. <laughs> where he's going. So there's a bit of a backstory to the first thing that I wanted to share before I get into this um, unboxing. I went to the France Pavilion at Epcot and they have a Guerlain store and I went earlier in February and I smelled a fragrance that I was really intrigued by. I've always wanted a Guerlain fragrance. He, sorry, he's really... What are you doing? Do you want to get out? I always go in and spray different fragrances on myself and there was one in particular that I sprayed at the beginning of February and I could not stop thinking about it. It lasted for over eight hours. I was shocked throughout an entire Disney day and it was very hot that day too. And I couldn't stop thinking about it and I'm very particular when it comes to fragrances. I like to think through a purchase, especially a fragrance purchase. I don't like for them just to collect dust. I like for them to be worn. Um, so I typically just stick with my Diptyque Eau de Sun. I also have a couple from Jo, jo Malone that I love. And I have allergies, so I don't like very heavy fragrances. And um, yeah, I'm kind of picky when it comes to different fragrances that I purchase. So when I sprayed this one on and it lasted for so long and I couldn't stop thinking about it, I knew it's probably one that I should add to my collection. I just didn't know when. Well, when my parents were here, I walked into the store and they actually had an engraver engraving the bottles. If you purchased a bottle, they would engrave it for free. And I knew then, okay, I'm, I'm gonna just do it. I'm just gonna do it, I'm gonna buy it, and I'm gonna get it engraved while I can. And I'm so happy with what I got. I wanted to show it to you guys. It's one of the Aqua Allegoria Forte fragrances. So this is the Mandarin Basilique, I think is how you say it. Um, it's such a beautiful bottle. I kept it in the box so that I could show you in the box. They also have this in the white label. So that's the lighter version of this. This is the Parfum and the new Forte line. Um, I believe it's fairly new, but look at the bottle. It is just beautiful. It has the little bee here on the top with this honeycomb detail. And then the best part is the engraving on the back. So I went with my initials. They were doing um, like the castle. They were doing a glass slipper because it was an offering at Epcot at Disney. But I wanted something just very classic. And yeah, this is a wonderful thing to get on this kind of bottle because this is a refillable fragrance. So once I'm finished with this, I can just get a refill, which I love. I love that they're trying to go into a more sustainable practice. Um, this, I believe, was made with 15% recycled glass or something like that. The fragrance itself is 90% natural. This is just something that I immediately felt drawn to because it's citrus with the mandarin, but it's also got a nice deep vanilla sandalwood base note. It is just beautiful. It reminds me of like an orange tart, like a very yummy dessert. It's not too sweet though, because I don't like a very sweet, but I will say that this is more on the sweeter side for me than what I um, typically go for, but it is such a beautiful fragrance. And with it being a citrus, you always have to be careful with citruses because they don't really last for very long. But this one, like I said, stayed on for eight hours. I just couldn't get over it, so I had to get it, and I had to get it engraved. Don't you think it's so pretty? It was just such a unique experience and something that I'm very happy that I was able to do. But yeah, that's what I did over the weekend with my parents, and we also had so much fun at Disney. It was so fun. It's always fun to have 
Um, my family members come or friends come that have kids because we get to experience it through doing different things that we normally wouldn't do, like riding some of the rides. And it was just a really special time. Okay, now let's get into this box. And I have a bit of a story to tell you with this too. I am trying to be, like I said, more intentional and add things to my wardrobe that I know I will get a lot of use out of, but I'm also looking for brands that are in alignment with my personal values. And I don't wanna just buy something for the sake of buying it. I want it to be, um, I want there to be a story. I want there to be um, an intention behind why I get it. Like with this fragrance, I knew this is something that I will wear continuously and I love that it comes in a refillable bottle. This is a brand, if you, I did a, wrote a blog post recently where I shared Sarah Flint, which is a shoe brand, and I love everything about her company and what she's created. She wanted to create a luxury shoe line that is both comfortable but also beautiful. And I appreciate that because a lot of these luxury shoes are not created by women or designed by women, so they're not very comfortable. But Sarah Flint, decided to create something that is both comfortable, wearable, and a timeless shoe. So this you can wear year after year, season after season. It's not gonna go out of style. It's a very classic. And I opened the box and I squealed because look at this beautiful blue and white. So I knew I have to wait and film this so that I could share this with you guys because it's just so beautiful and so me. What I'm trying to do is replace different shoes that I have in my collection, ones that I know that I wear a lot, with a nicer, more elevated style because I want them to last. And the great thing about shoes is that typically your feet don't grow. I know that they can in some cases, but that's a good thing to invest in, I think. Oh my goodness, can you see how beautiful? Oh, look at the side here. So it has the S, F in this gold that is beautiful wow okay oh my gosh wow welcome to our family handmade by the finest italian artisans every sarah flint shoe is a celebration of craftsmanship handed down over generations we believe meticulous construction and exceptional materials made for better shoes and even better experiences. We stand behind the principle of style without sacrifice. Isn't that beautiful? Well, I love that. And it looks like it was made by Giovanni. I think that's what that says. This shoe was handcrafted and finished with care in Italy. Wow. And this is fabric. So this is a fabric instead of tissue. So gorgeous and it has the SF design just like what's here on the box. I can already smell the leather. Oh, it smells so nice. Wow. Oh, and they're each individually wrapped in these little bags and a little shoe bag. Okay, ready? I don't think I said what shoe I got yet. Ah. Oh my gosh these are gorgeous oh, look at the bottom oh my gosh these are absolutely stunning and well made you can tell look at this okay let's take this out so we can look, get a good look at it so i wanted to get these this is called the perfect block sandal i believe that's the name right Perfect Block Sandal 60. I wanted to get this because I have the Carsons from Steve Madden that I have worn for years and years and years. I've worn them to weddings and showers and graduations. And yes, they get so much wear, but they're very tall. And I don't think I can wear that high of a heel anymore. I wanted something smaller, but I also wanted to invest in one that I knew would last me because those aren't very well made. And what Sarah Flint is known for is for her comfort. And oh my gosh, look at that. So you get the arch support here. Can you tell? And then you have a little padding here in the heel as well. Wow, they smell so good. I love this detail right here. So let me grab my Steve Madden so you can see kind of the difference in what I was basing it off of. Okay, so here is the Carson sandal, and this is what I've, yeah, Carson. Um, I've 
I have this in black, I have this in different prints, I have it in nude, and I've had it for years and years. But as you can see, it's a pretty high heel, and I wanted something very similar, just a basic nude sandal. <laughs> that was Mickey Snore, I promise. <laughs> um, that's just a basic nude sandal, but with a shorter heel. And they even have one smaller than this, if this is too high. But going from this to this, I thought it would be a pretty a, a nice change. And as you can see, there is hardly any padding in this. And I know we're comparing Steve Madden to a luxury brand or what is essentially a, a luxury brand. But I just wanted to show you why I decided to invest because I did get so much wear out of these and they just go with everything. I wanted a better version, just an elevated version that I could have in my wardrobe um, for years and years and I am so happy with this. So I'm gonna try these on. I went with a size 37. I'm normally either a 36 and a half or a 37, but I went with 37 for these because I read online that they fit true to size and they have a fit guide on their website so you can see, but if you aren't really sure, they do have a place where you can email their customer service. Oh my gosh, the back of this just feels so soft and well done. Wow, wow, wow. Okay, let's try these on and see how they fit. Okay, I'm gonna cuff my jeans. Normally I would not cuff these because they're quite baggy, but I want you to be able to see them. Wow, they really fit well. And they don't hurt. And I have a couple blisters on my feet from walking around at Disney over the weekend and they're not even squeezing where my blisters are. Okay, ignore the jeans, but I think that this is a pretty solid fit. I just love the look of these. I love the color. They're super comfortable too, where the heel placement is. I am so happy with this purchase. I can't wait to wear them, and once I wear them around, I'll let you know my final thoughts. But you can see kind of what I was talking about here with the heel, how it goes more in the center as opposed to fully flush to the back here. So you see, you get that balance. Also, I love the nude of this way more than this. This is kind of like a blush tone nude or a more taupe um, gray. And this is a true, true nude, which I prefer. I do have another purchase that I wanted to share with you. I added two more dresses to my spring dress collection. I saw that Bowdoin was having 20% off um, during a weekend sale. And so I wanted to get a white linen dress. That's something that I didn't have in my collection. I got rid of, like I said, so many different dresses um, because I've gained a little bit of weight so I couldn't fit into some of my favorites. So I wanted to replace that and I love the silhouette of this. I love the neckline, I loved the sleeves. I've already tried it on once um, but I wanted to show you guys what it looks like on. It also has pockets. And then I also got this one which I fell in love with the colors and the print of this one. It's just such a beautiful, it kind of has this like botanical flower print and then the sweetheart neckline. I'll try it on so you can see. I just walked in the kitchen to get a LaCroix and Matt is in here making granola, which looks absolutely amazing. Look at this in this bowl. So can you tell us what you put in here? Cause yeah, this looks delicious. Yeah, well, uh, we went to the store and I just had a craving for granola, <laughs> but we already had oats, walnuts. Uh, I got dried cranberries. Here's the oats. I've got chocolate chips that I'll add after it cools. Got Vanilla extract. Ooh, and here's the cranberries. Maple syrup. So what do you do? You just put it all in a bowl and yeah, then basically. bake it. You just dump it in a bowl, mix it up. I'm gonna add some coconut oil. Um, and then you just bake it. And then I just kind of keep taking it out and tasting it. And I guess when it tastes good, that's when you're, you know it's done. Hmm. So vanilla extract, oats, walnuts, cranberries, maple syrup, coconut uh, oil, yeah. a little coconut oil and then chocolate chips after it's baked. driving going to the bank that's why I look this way we just went on a walk um, but we saw that there was a state 
sale um, sign. So we followed it into this neighborhood and Matt went inside because I, I don't want to leave him in the car on Mickey in the car. He probably could come in, but um, Matt said he found some pretty good stuff inside. So we're going to see what they have. It is a lot later in the day and I apologize. I haven't really been vlogging today. It's been such a busy day, but Matt just got a new toy in the mail. He's over here playing with it. <laughs> and we're about to go and um, go and try and test it a little bit before Matt has to go to work. So we're renting a new camera um, because this one is so much smaller than our Sony and we want to see what it's like. I was talking about how I wanted to get back into blogging more this year and one of the downsides of blogging is you have to take, well, you take a lot of photos, obviously, but I never really liked having our giant Sony camera. I just felt like, I don't know, I just felt like you're on display when you're getting your photos done. What is going on? Hey. But yeah, we wanted to find something that's a little smaller, so that way I don't feel as intimidated by this giant camera um, because... You know, everyone looks at you and I don't know, it's just not something that I love. That's the downside of vlogging. Are you wanting to say hello today? Are you wanting to say hello? So I put on this Bowden dress that I got. I'll go show you. And the Sarah Flint sandals, and they're so comfortable. I've been walking around the whole apartment <laughs> just testing them out to see what I think. And I am definitely sold. So I just put this dress on and oh, I love this dress. This may be my new favorite dress in my wardrobe because I just love this floral print so much. We decided to bring Little Maestro along. Hey, he's so excited. So that way we can maybe go for a walk while we're out. Hopefully this won't take very long. This is probably the worst time of the day to try and take some photos. Right. It's like midday, but it's the only time that we have today. So we're gonna try it and see if we can do it. Matt has this new camera that he really wants to yeah, try. I'm and excited. if it goes well, then Did maybe this will. This? Well, he's just so excited. <laughs> Oh my, oh, gosh. oh my gosh, <laughs> but if it's if it works out, then maybe this could be your birthday gift because Matt has a birthday coming up. I do. Now he can say, well, you could say he's going to be 41. So I was going to say you could say you're, I could in, say. you're, you're in your, for, officially in your 40s, but you, I guess when you're 40, when you're, you're 40, in, you're 40. Yeah. 40 is the big one. 41 is just like, okay, fine. Yeah. But still, I'd rather not say. Why? Let's just say I'm older. <laughs> About that age. I actually enjoy getting older, I think. Yeah, I don't I'm, mind. I so. don't mind. I feel like for most of my life, people have always treated me like I'm younger, um, anyways, because I look younger true, yeah. and my voice tends <clears throat> to be a little higher. I've tried to purposefully, purposefully deepen my voice over the years um, just because. <laughs> I don't know. It's kind of, I mean, I'm not complaining at all about it. It's just sometimes it can be a bit frustrating, especially like out and people just don't take you as seriously. I feel like, you know, does that make sense what I'm saying? Yes. I'm does. not complaining. I promise. Oh, like yeah, I, I, I realize I it's a good thing, but it also can sometimes be kind of frustrating to have to like oh, when you're never taken stand your ground. That is yeah. Legitimately frustrating. Especially being um, five feet tall. Right. It doesn't really help either. Yeah. I mean, honestly, we, I mean, growing older is fine. I feel the exact same as I did in my late 20s, so it's, I'm, I'm good. Yeah. You know. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I, I think it's, I think it's something to be celebrated and, you know, every day is a gift. And, yeah, I'm just, I'm grateful for you. Same. Grateful for you too. Thank you. We were just talking, my birthday is, it's going to be warmer on my birthday, which was the end mm -hmm. of January, than it is on his. So you're going to actually have a spring birthday. Mine felt like summer. Yeah. <laughs> Mine will be rainy in the, in the 60s. Yours was in the mid 80s, I yeah. think, which is unheard of for your birthday. Right. For January. I, like growing up all the time, my um, my birthday was always, we were having a f like frost or ice or I don't know. I never got to do anything fun outside. So this year we were, we were going to try to go to the water park because that's one of my favorite things to do. But I forget what we did on my birthday. Oh, we ended up just doing like a high tea. Yeah. Remember? And yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, then we went later on we and had, Epcot. yeah, we went and got margaritas at La Cava. Got you the rose margarita the lily. lily. Oh yeah, yeah. I'll, put a, I'll put a video here so you can see it. It was very surprising. I was not expecting for them to come out with this huge, it was very funny. I was very surprised by when they came out and did the, and then our um, server told me that the rose essence and that it was good for your skin. So you got a little bit of a facial with your margarita. <laughs> And somebody got it when we were there with your parents. 
They did? Yeah, we were I in line. I saw it, yeah. Oh, we, were, we went over the weekend with my yeah. parents. We always take, um, when we have company come into town, we always take them to Hukava, one of our favorite places. And I, I'm, I must have been in the restroom. I think you were just having a conversation. Oh. I, I noticed it in the distance. Oh. So it was inside. Did you calm down yet? Mm -hmm. No, he's excited. <laughs> We just made it back home and I wanted to show you. I just changed out of my dress really fast so that I could warm up some food. I just have some leftover pasta here, but I just warmed this up really quickly, just some leftovers for us to have for lunch because we are running low. And I never showed you what the granola ended up like yesterday. So we discovered that we did not um, keep it in the oven for long enough. Matt actually had to go to work and so it didn't stick together. Um, when he's made this before, it's worked but i think it's just because we were doing it so quickly yesterday that it didn't really turn out but it tastes delicious it's so good okay i am back here in my floor let me take these glasses off i was just sitting to edit this video and i realized that we never showed you what we picked up from the estate sale that we were passing by when we were out for a walk i actually did not go inside i stayed in the car with mickey because he was in the car with us. We, were, we we had been going on a walk. We didn't even expect to go inside, but Matt found some really good items that I wanted to share with you. Um, the first thing being this Old Country Roses from Royal Albert. I already have this collection. My grandmother gave it to me a few years ago, her old collection, and I like to just add different pieces when I saw it, when I see it. And this was only $8. It doesn't have any nicks or anything like that, so it was in pretty good condition. So Matt knew that I collected the, collected this, so he picked this up. And I will say Matt has a really good eye for interior. So I trust his judgment. And he actually spotted both of these Spode, um, still in the box, teacup and saucer. And both of these are gorgeous. They're two different designs. But you guys know I love blue and white. And I love to collect teacups. And um, yeah, this I'm very excited to have. One day we will have a house and I will be able to display all of these things. Right now they just kind of live <laughs> shoved in our cabinets here and there. Um, but one day, one day I'll be able to decorate with this. Um, so this is another find. This I fell in love with. He did such a good job with this. This is Anne Hathaway's Cottage and it's um, Royal Essex. It says it's from the 1950s or 1940s. It's a beautiful blue transfer wear with this little English cottage. And Matt said he just thought it was really pretty, um, this design, and it was $6. It doesn't have any nicks or anything. It's a little bit dirty, so I need to clean it up a little bit, but so, so gorgeous. And I saw this, I actually Googled this because I wasn't, I had never heard of this before, um, Anne Hathaway's Cottage, but I Googled it and I saw on Etsy that what, for one of these is going for about $32, $35. So $6 is not too bad. This next thing is a pitcher. This is a Bordello Pinheiro, I think is how you say it. It's a um, cabbage pitcher. And this was only $16. You can see on the bottom, it's kind of rubbed off a little bit, but this is a Portuguese line. It's um, from Portugal. And I, um, I've seen these a lot. You can still find this today. I want to try and collect this entire collection. I love the green. It's such a classic. But for $16, this was such a good find. The last thing is a vase that Matt found, and he said that he thought that the colors would go really nicely in this room. So this was only $10. There's nothing special about it, but it's just a really pretty design. And the pink with it's kind of like a... What, do you, what would you say that this is? Like a teal? Pink and teal... A little blue in here as well it's really pretty but yeah I just wanted to share that with you guys and let me know in the comments if you go to estate sales or if you collect porcelain in China um, I just think that it's fun it's kind of like going on a treasure hunt but I hope that you guys enjoy this video thank you so much for all of your support on my last video um, I feel like we didn't really do much in today's vlog or in the past couple of days but we're coming off of having uh, family in town so I'm just kind of trying to get everything back in order but we have some trips coming up soon that I'm going to take you guys along on and yeah I'm just really excited to kind of start this whole chapter over again so I appreciate you being here I love you all I hope that you have a wonderful day and I will see you again very soon bye <laughs>